Hey guys, Seabot Slayer here, coming at you with another video. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch. And if you like what you see, subscribe, like the video, all that good jazz. And if not, well, thank you for stopping by anyway. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the more recent changes that Epic has made to their game. Changes involving the gas traps, the wall launcher, the floor launcher, uh, the new and improved psychotic smashers, and of course, the propane guys. So without further ado, let's get right to it. See you in a minute. Okay, so first order of business here, we have the gas traps. These gas traps have apparently been nerfed into oblivion, according to several people I've talked to. And uh, I just don't think that's the case. I don't think... Okay, don't come for me. But maybe the gas trap needed to be nerfed? Pretty OP. If you're in a level 140 mission, and you have three gas traps up, and a smasher walks through your tunnel, and those three gas traps all by themselves almost take him out, maybe, maybe it's an OP trap that needs to be nerfed. But anyways, this is what Epic had to say about it. We saw gas trap use that allowed affliction to stack and reach damage levels far beyond other traps. We changed the gas trap to no longer deal guaranteed full value through affliction, but deal massive damage to any enemy that is trapped in its radius. Gas traps also received an overall 15% damage increase per tick and now mitigate B-clouds. There are still a few updates we need to make to the gas trap, such as the effect duration not working properly. Okay, so y'all need to calm down. They, they're not even done with it yet. Okay, but anyway, let's see how terribly nerfed these gas traps actually are. Hi, right, that broke my stuff. Look at that though. I mean, they're still getting. Honestly, they're still getting mowed down, right? Hey, 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 hey. Let's see, let's, I want that mist monster to come through here. Yeah, it's the gas traps eating him up from the edge. Come on. Oh, the gas trap got him from all the way over there. Look at that. See, honestly, if they had never said anything about this nerf, I probably wouldn't even have noticed. Okay, that's that's how insignificant this nerf this nerf is. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the results. I mean, it's still a pretty powerful trap. Uh, it's still kicking things around like nothing. So I honestly don't know what the problem is. I don't know what everybody's so upset about. Okay, so that's the gas trap. Still working, still kicking. Not a terrible nerf. I'm happy with it. I want to. Ooh, I want to see it mitigate B clouds. Come here. Look, there's no B cloud. Oh, look! It, oh yeah, it just gets rid of them. Okay, see that's cool. That's cool. This is a good nerf. I am or good change. I'm happy with this change. Thank you, Epic, for, you know, this one. Alright, moving on. Next! Okay, so now we have the launchers, the wall launchers, and the floor launchers, and honestly, with this nerf, I have mixed villains. Uh, this is what Epic had to say about it. We're also unhappy with the overall state of floor launchers and how they were used to deal percent base, base damage to husks. That resulted in floor launcher spam in game modes with high power skill on like Frost Knight and Endurance where floor launchers overperformed compared to other tracks. Again, again we gotta be fair about this. And don't come for me. But maybe they're right. Because honestly in game modes like Frost Knight, Endurance, I mean the materials that you need to make them are not hard to get, okay? You need, let's see, you need eight planks, seven rough ore, and two powder to make, you know, whatever. It's it's a cheap thing to make. So if you're able to go into game modes like Frost Knight, Endurance, or what have you, and just spam floor tiles to shoot the zombies up, there's not really a whole lot of challenge to your game. You're basically cheating. So, I, in a way, I'm happy with this nerf. 
Uh, however, I'm really sad that I'm never going to get to see a Smasher go flying off the side of a cliff again. So, I don't know. Mixed feelings about this one. I really like to torment the, the Smashers, like sending them flying off the side of the world, you know? That, or seeing them fly up in the air. That, I'm going to miss that. But overall, it's not, it's not a bad nerf. I mean, it hurts my feelings a little bit, but it's not a bad nerf. Anyway, let's check it out on these little guys here. Hopefully they won't break it. They might break them. I don't, yep, they're gonna break them. Not all of them, okay. Ah, they don't take damage anymore. Let's see what, I want to see what it does to mist monsters. Come back over here. Come back over here. They're still getting launched around. Hey. The little guys are not taking any damage. But that's okay. I just want to see what it does to Mist Monsters. Ah! It, it launched the Mist Monsters still. Look buddy, you need to go. Okay. I really want to see it get the Miss Monster. Like a full clear shot of it. There we go. Yeah, see, it launches him still. That's good. And even if it doesn't damage him, then at least it's not... It, at least it's setting him a little bit. Now, what I really want to test it out on is a Smasher. So, let me find one of those, and I will be right back. Hey. Look what I found. He's over here sleeping. Probably having some nice dreams about smashing things. And over here we have our 130 floor launchers. They're supposed to be level 82. I don't suppose it matters so much. Let's see. Let's see if we can make him mad. Come here, buddy. Okay, yeah. He's probably going to charge through all this stuff. Yeah, he's mad. He's mad. Where'd he go? Hey! Rude. I feel like... Well, the shoulder's getting tossed around. Dude, I need you to come over here and walk around on the launch pads. There we go. Okay, like the launch pad does- oh my gosh, I'm gonna die doing this? You know what? Duh! Well, I brought this thing. Okay. Look at that. It's going off, but- Wait a minute. Does he weigh them down completely? Because I haven't seen the- The shielder guy's not flying either now. Look at that. He's holding it down so the other zombies can't fly? Look at that! What? Okay, that might be a bit much, personally. But you can see it's not launching him, it's not setting him, it's not doing anything. But he weighs the thing down so other zombies can't get launched either. I don't like that. That seems a bit... That seems a bit unfair. Honestly. But all in all, still not a nerf I'm entirely unhappy with. I can see why they went this direction with it. Um, you know what? I want to see you die now. I'm shoot you with my rocket launcher. Ah! Die! Okay. Okay, and I guess that's it for the, the floor launchers. So, yeah. I give this nerf a Reluctant thumbs up. So. Next! Meet George. George is a sleepy fellow. He's also a very angry fellow that doesn't like to be bothered when he's sleeping. And he also has a real passion for smashing things. Okay, so he's gonna help us out with this next bit. Out for the smasher. Where are you going? Stay out of the shot. You got a photo bomb, George. Anyway. Okay, so, we already saw what happens to Smashers when they step on a floor launcher. Nothing. 
nothing happens to them or the zombies standing around them when the launchers go off. Uh, now, they have made some serious changes to uh, the Smasher, some significant changes, uh, that I got mixed feelings about. Again, uh, here's what Epic had to say about it. True to their name, Smashers were always intended to wreck structures. Before the change, Smashers had an easily exploitable, long-standing bug with their AI that prevented them from recognizing certain edited structures as valid targets. Okay, so basically what that means is people were unknowingly exploiting a bug. Uh, wait for these guys to get out the way. Go away. Go away, guys. Okay, so once upon a time, before this change, when we were building around the objective, uh, my friends and I would build these angle floors like this because the smashers wouldn't barrel through them and break them. They would get to right about here and go, oh crap, what is this? What do I do? Darn, I guess I'm just going to have to have some manners and walk through and just smack the objective. They don't get that, you know, that smasher effect on your walls here. And your objective is safe. Okay, so they've changed that, right? Now, if you make them mad, you will barrel through here and break everything. There is also this trick when a smasher was charging you where you could throw up a ramp like this and he would run. He would run it when he was charging at you and he would run up and over and go right over your head. Okay? Now, we're going to test out both of these things and see what happens. Alright, George, buddy. I'm sorry, but... You, it, it's your time to wake up, dude. Okay. George, no! No, George! Wrong way, George! No, George! God, you're bad at this. Okay. Look, George. Come over here. Come over here. You know what? Maybe we can test this out over here. You gonna charge me or not? Oh! Oh, no. Well, didn't do that very well anyway. Okay. Let's, let's try this again. Don't disappoint me this time, George. I don't want him to even think he can come up this way. Oop, that's not good. Okay. This is not going well. Okay. Okay, George. Come on, buddy. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Right through my floors. He did significant damage to that, and if you're not down here to repair it very quickly, your objective is going to be open for attack. Okay. Here we go. No, you're not going to charge me, buddy. But he runs through and... Well, it still, I guess, slows him down. He doesn't run over it. Let's try it one more time. Nope. But see, he runs through it now instead of going up and over. So that no longer works either. Uh, as far as this nerf goes, or buff, I guess, I can see why they went this way. It is a little frustrating to now have to deal with uh, being used to dealing with smashers a certain way, and then now we got to come up with something different. But I guess it adds a little bit more of a challenging aspect to the game. So I wanted that. I guess it's unfair for me to complain. So I give this this change here a very, 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 very reluctant. Thumbs up. Alright. Uh, moving on. Next. Okay, so here we are. And we're going to be looking at the propane guys this time. Now, they've made some changes to these guys that I am not fond of. I'm really upset about this. Like, I, I don't, don't like it. I'll explain why here in a minute. But first, let's see what Epic has to say about this change. Previously, damage to trap tunnels would be caused by stray shots and other player errors that detonated the pile of propane tanks on the floor. Exploders no longer drop propanes and now actively attack the tunnels, so you'll need to react to counter them. Exploders will also self-destruct when they drop below one-third HP if damaged by a trap. There is still a, a threat to trap tunnels. Okay. 
So they're going to blow up anyway? Are you serious? Gas traps are expensive. Wall traps can get expensive depending on the ones that you use. Same thing with floor traps. If you use, uh, oh gosh, flame grill traps or the ice traps or what have you, that's quartz, man. That's valuable stuff. And you're telling me that all of our hard work on our trap tunnels is going to be rewarded because that guy wants to blow some stuff up? Uh-uh. I am not okay with this. This, this is not okay. Okay? Nah. But, let's test it out and see. Make them mad. Well, they're really sleepy. Hey, guys. There we go. Now, when he gets down to one-third HP, he is supposed to absolutely muckle that tunnel. Well, let's see. There he goes. He's getting hurt. He's getting hurt. Look at that. I mean, he died before he could blow it up. But in the higher missions, that's not going to happen. Okay? It... I really... I really... I hate this one. I hate this one so much. Because... Some of us really like to build. Like, for myself, it's, it's a point of pride in this game for me. That I can drop into a Category 4 mission and build trap tunnels. And build them so well and so effectively that nothing aside from the odd smasher or taker makes it work. Okay? That it feels like the building aspect of this game has been just attacked, honestly. And that's not cool. That's not cool. The My favorite thing about this game is the building. And now, I don't want to build trap tunnels because I don't want to waste all the materials. And that's exactly what it's going to be if things can just walk into your trap tunnels and blow it up. It just, it's a waste. It's a waste of materials. There's no point. You go into, now when you go into a public mission, what's going to happen? Think about this. You don't want to build. They don't want to build. Nobody's going to build. So nobody's going to want to do these missions because no one is going to want to throw their hard-earned materials into the garbage. I farm too much to be okay with this, with this change here. Not okay with it. Thumbs down. Very, very firm thumbs down. I don't like it. Very unhappy with it. Okay. Sorry about the little rant there, but I'm serious. No epic change. Fix this. No. Shame on you. Alright. And I guess... <laughs> I guess that is the Fortnite key. Alright. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for stopping by. See you soon. Bye.